friends. Let's go on a ride along as I drive home. So you're gonna hear like some vehicle noises cause I'm driving. Anyway, I wanted to hop on quick. It is April 2nd, the beginning of a new month and I'm trying to get better. Ooh, of course the sun comes out to say hello to you as well. Cause the sun knows you're the sunshine in my life, my new and seasoned friends. Um, did I say you're at Kathy Spicy Cat Colors? No, I didn't because I'm, I'm driving. Anyway, trying to get better at getting my plans posted earlier, even though um, the plans as they are, are basically my group buddy colors. So it is April. It is my birthday month. My birthday was actually yesterday, April 1st. I am an April Fool season friends. You already knew that. New friends, it is not a joke. However, I always recommend, and I'm waiting for someone to actually do it, that likes to prank people, is tell everybody your birthday is April 1st and see if you, um, if you get like, I don't know, maybe someone will bring you a cake, get you a present, maybe just say happy birthday. Anyway. I just always thought that'd be funny. I'm actually born on April Fool's Day, so most people are nice to me. I usually don't get pranked. I had thought of a really great prank for my coworkers, but I um, was too late. So, you so it's next year, right? Anyway, I got my hair cut on my birthday. That's fun and exciting. I had to reschedule like the last two where she barely like was able to do my trims and my, my trim on my bangs and my wax because of my work travels. But anyway, we are here to discuss group buddy colors for April at Spicy Cat Colors. First of all, thank you to everyone last month. So I was going, so here's what I do. I just keep the same hashtags because I actually enjoy going all the way through them every month. And Instagram, Seriously, just today I went through to double check to make sure I got everyone from May, March. And there were a few that popped up that had been posted. One of them was a year old. And it was like from February 2023, the person I posted used the correct hashtag. But every time I'd searched by my hashtag, it never popped up. So. And the reason I know is because when I capture your page, because I like to print them out and put them in my coloring scrapbook, I always do a heart and leave a comment. That's my like future Kathy's reference to know that I have captured that one. And I think there were like five that I found today that were all old. And I'm like, okay, I do this multiple times every month and the Instagram whatever has never pulled it up and I scroll all the way to the bottom of the list but anyway so if you had posted a picture for spicy cat buddies or spicy cat Disney like in the past year and you just randomly got a comment that's the case if you have posted and did not at all get comments from me um, most likely Instagram is hiding it or maybe the hashtag was spelled differently I don't know anyway I just wanted to let you guys know that I really do try. I know I'm always slow at responding to comments on my videos and even messages and such um, just because that's the way time goes. So thank you to everyone that did the Sword in the Stone and my bunny picture um, or any bunny for my Spicy Cat Buddies. So let's just dive into this because I only have X amount of time for this drive. And I do have ice cream that my husband requested. It, it is in my lunch cooler with an ice pack. And then it's like 10 to seven and I was not gonna cook so I ordered takeout from the local bar. So I have a turkey commercial. Mmm, love that. So, okay, let's do Spicy Cat Buddies first. If you are a new friend, I pick a page from, and this year I'm doing all Camellia Angel Cova pretty much miniatures I would get. I, it might not be a miniature, we might do a fairy house or something, but for the most part, I think there's enough miniature books I can pick from the miniature books because I personally um, love Camellia Angel Cova's artwork and she's very popular. A lot of us have her books. And I also have this um, challenge to myself to color in all of my Camellia books this year. Now I have more than 12, so I gotta be doing a lot of coloring, not just for Spicy Cat Buddies, but 
for the month of April, I have chosen a newer book. I don't know if it's the newest. I saw she just has a new mandala out. I need to put that on my wish list. Um, but this is the, sorry, I'm on a curve. Um, I picked the 50 dessert themed miniatures, which came out, I don't know, was it January, December? It's been out for a couple months. And I did color a page in it already last month as a buddy color, which was good. So I had the book out and I thought I should find another one here because I, you know, I just don't want to color one page in there. So I'm looking through and I'm like, okay, it's my birthday month. Now, season friends, you know, I'm not like traditional, like, oh, let's do a birthday page. No, that would be way too easy. So in this book, here's the cover. Um, I have chosen, actually my husband chose, there were two pages and I gave him the option. I said, I need your advice on which one to pick. And he chimed in. So he um, made the final selection and this is the page I have chosen. And it is doubly applicable for me for my birthday month because um, with an April 1st birthday, my birthday is always around Easter. I don't remember. I know it's probably been once or so. Um, sorry, no, I got that sound is, is still saying hello to you, so it's going to blind me. <laughs> you got to put the shade down, so you're just going to see shade. Anyway, um, so yes, I'm very used to having my birthday around Easter. In fact, I know I've shared pictures before and like as a child, my mom did kind of, and it was my choice. It wasn't like she forced this up on me, but she would make this bunny cake and it was one of my favorites and it was just fun because she'd let me decorate it. So I am very much used to having an Easter birthday. I swear it's been on Good Friday more times than any other day because of my religion, I practice um, fasting on Good Friday <laughs> and limited, you know, some sacrifices. So it's kind of always been like, oh, it's my birthday. Yeah, it's limited what I can eat, but it's okay because for me, the faith part is good. So why did I pick this page? Well, because there's those rabbits, which are cute and they remind me of um, Easter, which was last month's prompt. So this is the page. It looks pretty simple, like it'll be a quick and easy color. If you uh, do not have the 50 dessert themed miniatures, do not by any means go buy it unless you really want it. You can buy it. But you can color any page and it doesn't have to be a camellia page. Even though I'm doing like camellia for um, all my buddy colors this year, you can color any page. No, but your page, this one might be tricky. I don't think it's going to be tricky. I think we might have to just look in our books, but I think there's plenty. So it's the two bunnies and they have a carrot cake with them. And my favorite cake is carrot cake, specifically the cream cheese frosting, like just give me a tub of it. But I do like the moist carrot cake. I like it with nuts. I'm not a big fan of it with raisins, but it's okay. I will suffer through for carrot cake. So that's why I chose this page because it reminded me of Easter and the carrot cake is my favorite cake, whether it's my birthday or not, and my birthday is always around Easter. So that's why I chose the page. But as I started to say, if you do not have this book or if you have already colored this page in this book, color any page you can find that has a carrot on it. That's why I said it might be a little tricky. I'm not going to make it easy. It's not just cake or rabbits. No, I want to see carrots. Now, I do know there are books with carrots in them. I know Alexander Francis has carrots in some of hers. I know the Erie books have gardening with carrots in. I know there are other camellia books with carrots in. I'm pretty sure Matchstick Mouse has some with a carrot in. So any book or any, any book, any page, as long as there's a carrot and or of course the page with the bunnies and the carrot cake and if you are on instagram please post it out there and use the hashtag spicy cat buddies so i can find it and then i can capture it and put it in my coloring scrapbook so that's the spicy cat buddies <coughs> excuse me i am like three weeks after a really bad illness and i still get a little <coughs> froggy croaky every now and then 
so so then spicy cat disney if you are a new friend i have a picker wheel app i have set up it's just online it's free and i have entered all of the disney movies that i have or that are in the books i own so i really love the hatchet heroes 100 color by number mystery um color riage books those I have a large collection and um, so I like to color Disney and it's just kind of fun to have a movie prompt every month so that's what we're doing there I spin the wheel and it decides which is the movie for the month so last month it was the Sword in the Stone which was one of my favorites and let's see what is the April Disney I am excited. So I was going through the list, like kind of see, kind of <laughs> reviewing, I should say, kind of. <laughs> kind of reviewing trying to see what's been used and we've had a lot of classic a lot of real popular movies and I, I I didn't personally think this was it but I was so excited that we have something different and this I'm not saying it's a pop not a popular movie but Chicken Little okay first of all the movie is cute so if you've never watched it now's the perfect time and if you have the vast collection of books I suggest <laughs> you find the Chicken Little pages. Now, I had been working but never finished it. But I do know that it's recently updated. My friend Michaela Renee, she is on Instagram and YouTube. She does diamond painting and she does coloring and she loves the Disney books as much as I do and I think she has more than I do. Not that that's a measure of how much you love the books. And she has a spreadsheet listing where each movie is found. So I am going to link that in the description down below. I'll try and put in a tag um, or a, a card, you know what I mean, and a link to her channel because I'm pretty sure she has it like in the description of all of her videos. So you can click on that to see, because again, if you have like <clears throat> 30 books, or so it can you know take a little bit to have to look through them all to find chicken little so I do know there are some <clears throat> now because there are not as many as other movies and characters of course we always have an alternate and plus not everybody likes Disney so if you don't like Disney you for sure wouldn't have a chicken little in your coloring book arsenal so if you do not have any books with chicken little as a character or you do not have any Disney books. So here, I'll kind of do a two-fold challenge. But again, you guys know I give you these challenges, but there's really no rules. You just, it's all about coloring and community. So if you think it fits, I'll, I'll accept it. <laughs> Nobody fails. But if you do have the D Disney books, but you don't have a Chicken Little page, how about any Disney chicken? So there are some other Disney chickens. There are, for sure the one I know there's in a lot of the books is the chicken, is it Hey Hey from Moana? Moana, um, super cute. Well, it might be technically a rooster, chicken rooster. Home on the Range, I'm pretty sure, which is another, there's not a lot of pages of that. But I know there's chickens in there. Um, those are the ones I can think of off the top of my head. So if you do want to stick with Disney, but you don't have Chicken Little, try and find a chicken page, chicken, Disney chicken page. And if you do not have any Disney coloring pages or any Disney chickens, I just... Oh, oh friend, hold on, hold on. Are you still there? Oh my gosh, did your head hurt? Are you okay? He totally fell. I am so sorry, and I am not editing that out. Thought I had you, you know, you're propped up on my like phone holder, and I got a hand sanitizer holding me a little straight, but I didn't think I took the corner that sharp. I'm almost home. Anyway, oh, I got all flustered. Where were we? Oh, so again, okay. If you don't have a Disney chicken, 
or you don't have. I'm going to hold on to you. Hold on. I should seatbelt you. We're turning. And then we got one more turn and we're home. But, oh, I couldn't do that to you twice. Um, <laughs> I, I still want chickens. So, spring books. I know there are lots of baby chicks, chickens, and the like. I know, again, that they are in the Matchstick Mouse books. Um, a lot of the Color by Number, Color Questopia, all of those have spring books with chicks in it. So I would like to see any chicken, chick, seems like Easter books, all of that. If you didn't get all your Easter books colored in before April, well, let's color a couple pages now. Okay, do you guys think I can handle this or should I just stop? I am attempting to back into my driveway. I gotta hold you, and then I gotta put the gear shift in reverse. And then I gotta watch the mirrors. I feel like I should like give um, a driving tutorial of what not to do. Anyway, and heaven forbid it's spring, so my husband will yell at me if I go off the driveway and back on the grass because it's muddy and wet, and then I tear up the grass. I'm sure people can relate. I'm not the only one. Hey, there's my house. Okay, phew, we made it. Now I can finish. So, to wrap it up, we are doing Spicy Cat Buddies of this page from 50 Dessert Themed Miniatures by Camila Angelkova, or any page with a carrot in it. I like carrots. And then for hashtag spicy cat Disney, we are doing the movie Chicken Little. And if you do not have a Chicken Little page, you can do any Disney chicken slash rooster. Um, let's just keep it to that. I'm not opening it up to all birds, chicken or rooster. I know there's some out there. And then if you don't have anything like that, anyone with a chicken or a baby chick is acceptable. And again, use the hashtag Spicy Cat Disney and Spicy Cat Buddies if you post on Instagram. If you do not post on Instagram, it's okay. Not everybody's all up in the social medias. I am not. I don't do TikTok. Mm. I really don't do Facebook very much either. Mm. But <laughs> there's nothing wrong with those that do. So if you are not in Instagram, you can email me your page. I have several friends that do that and it brightens my day every time when I see the email from them with their page picture in. So you can email it. My email is in the description below. SpicyCatColors at gmail.com um, And if you do use Instagram but you don't post because some of us are lurkers. I tend to lurk more than I post. You can always message, to, message it to me on Instagram. Just direct message it. You don't have to post it. So I think that covers all the things. Again, in the description below, I'm going to have a link to my friend Michaela's channel. And if I can get the direct link to her spreadsheet of all the Disney books, I will have that there for you as well. And I guess I could turn the vehicle off. I don't need to, um, I just filled with gas. I don't need to use up all the gas while I'm sitting here. <coughs> Excuse me. So other than those are my hashtags for those of you that work here for that, I will just give you a quick little update. So it is, like I said, it's April 2nd. Yesterday was my birthday. Um, my husband took me out of town over Easter weekend, which was technically March. So we called it my birthday weekend and he planned it all on his own. We went up, he arranged it with my girlfriends. We stayed with my bestie and her kiddos and had a lot of fun with them playing games and laughing and eating. And we got to meet and go out for lunch with them and another of our friends. So I was just super blessed. We also were able to, on the way home, stop by the cemetery and visit my parents' graves, which is always important to me. And it was a really nice, nice getaway. So um, I don't always do a lot for my birthday and my husband, I've talked about before, for him birthdays are just another day, but we have had some serious discussions lately and I've explained to him that I respect that's his opinion, but he is married to someone that they're not just another day. And I don't expect like a big old party or lots, you know, spending lots of money on gifts or anything like that. Just, I just like to be made to feel special. So, um, 
he did. Oh, my radio's still on. I'm like, who, who's talking? Anyway, um, and that's exactly what he did was perfect, was to take me to visit my friends and spend quality time with people because I am much more, um, to me, I need to read the book, What's Your, Lo Your Love Language? Because for me, spending time with people, that's the biggest gift for me. So that was very nice. And then this month, or this month, this week, I am at home. I could actually stay at home all week. <coughs> Saturday, and I've been going into the office just because it's easier for me to focus and work without the help of the fur babies. And um, Saturday, we pick up another rental car. <laughs> but it's for a short-term short term rental, just a week. So we'll pick up the car. And then on Monday, actually, I will do, will be my travel day to the next facility I have to go to, which is in Iowa. Wonderful thing. It's only, I want to say it's three or three and a half hour drive. I don't know how many miles that translates to, but I do know the last time I made it, I didn't even have to stop and pee. So that's amazing for this old lady bladder. But yeah, so it's a nice short trip and I'll be doing training, doing um, end user training. So I have to like teach classes on our new system to try and train the poor folks who don't know what they're getting into. And then that's just that next week and then I'll drive back home Saturday or Friday. I'll get home Friday and Saturday return the car and then I have to pick up a or no then I'm home for a whole week again I think it's like 10 days and then I'll have to pick up another car and I think it's like I don't know 24th maybe 24th is that a Wednesday I'll need to travel and most likely I'll leave the 24th and I will not return at home until right the weekend before Memorial Day I think it is something like that it'll be a four week a little over four weeks so I'm excited. Um, like I said, it's at least close by. So if I wanted to, I could come home on the weekends because we should not have to, after the first weekend, I shouldn't have to work. Um, kind of be on call support. But my personal thing is I drive, I go to the hotel and I get all set up. And if I were to come home for the weekend, I'd have to like pack up the hotel, pack all my stuff up, put it, haul it out to my car and then go back and unload it all. I suppose, I don't know if my company would probably not pay me to like just keep the, the room open and not like, you know, leave all my stuff there, but then also pay for me to come back. I, I don't know. I, it doesn't feel right to me. I would rather just stay there on the weekends, be the on-call person, run into the plant, do whatever little bit of helping I can do, um, and just be gone the four weeks. And it worked out well when I was in the Wisconsin facility last month. My husband actually came up for the weekend. It was a longer drive. It was like a seven-hour drive. But he drove up, got there early Saturday. Oh, there's a robin outside my van. Hello, Mr. Robin. He looks very chubby and happy. It's been a nice winter. Um, anyway. Me too. Can you tell I'm chubby and happy because it's been a good winter for foraging for food. What was I saying? Oh, he came up on um, early Saturday and then he left Sunday afternoon. I did post a vlog if you wanted to watch that. It's a lot of just like pictures and not a lot of, I mean, there's, there's enough talking. It's Kathy, but it's basically, I just captured all of the, um, little snippets I'd posted on Snapchat and Instagram and stories. So I just combined all that into like a video vlog for my own reference to keep for whatever, nostalgia's sake. I'm sure eventually things will fall off YouTube, but at least I can have it there. And um, a lot of people said they enjoyed it. And again, because not everybody's on social, you maybe didn't see the uh, snippets as I would post them. So I may try and do that again. I do know, like from the past year, I have saved all of those like snippets from like my Canada trips and my other Wisconsin trips. So if I, it just takes a really long time to edit all that. But I don't know. I might, they might just be like some bonus vlogs from the vault that might pop up if I have some time. 
to edit those we shall see again i'm i'm a real person i'm laid back i don't do the whole youtube thing for anything <laughs> as far as fame or earning money or anything like that i do it as a hobby i enjoy it and i love the people i've made friends with out here and um some of those things i like to post just so i can have it posted and available for my own reference so um that's what i do i i know like those types of vlogs are not going to be like high rewatched videos if i yeah and we'll see i do if i get a chance this week maybe over the weekend um i will have a finished pages i think i have february and march so i have enough to, of pages because i still color um i do diamond painting as well that really works um, actually, they both work great from the hotel room. The only thing of the coloring, I tend to lean towards color by number because it's so nice to not have to think like after these long work days. So sometimes I'll like diamond paint for an hour and then I'll sit and do some color by number. So they're not any great works of art. And I've also been on a water-based marker kick because I am trying to... I have so many. Now, excuse me, my nose decided to start dripping. So I won't do a big blow, but I'll try and like catch the snot so it doesn't fall down my face. Anyway, <laughs> um, now I lost what I was saying. Oh, so I have all these water-based markers as well as I have plenty of sets of alcohol markers, but I've decided to try and just use up as much because the water-based ones seem to dry out um, like on their own if they're unused quicker or more so than the alcohol markers because as long as those stay tightly capped they're usually good and I've just you know I'm on a let's use what I have because I have plenty and um so yeah I did a lot of coloring with water-based markers so there's that but yeah I will try and do a completed pages so it's not as out of hand as the last one I posted which was like September through January I may have missed a few books because I had them in a different spot, but I will, it'll just be like, here's what I've colored and I'll share it with you. So, okay. I think that's about it. I will let you go. We're at a half hour. That's normal chatty Kathy. But like I said, main thing, I wanted to show all of you what I have chosen for the group buddy colors and what the picker wheel chose for us. I'm excited. I will, I'm sure I'll have some hotel time where I can watch Chicken Little. That could be kind of fun. And I'm going to be using Michaela's list because I do have, I know some of the books that have Chicken Little, but I couldn't tell you which book it is right now. So I think I'm going to track those down so I can play in them. And yeah. I hope everybody else is having a great start to the month of April. I know there are some other amazing people. Well, we're all amazing, but there's some specific amazing people that share April as their birthday month. So I say let's celebrate all month long, but you should do that whenever your birthday is. It's not a one day celebration. It is at least a full month because you are that valued and important and deserve to be celebrated. You're more than a one day celebration accept that fact. Why? Because you matter and people that matter deserve to be celebrated. Duh. It's not that hard to understand. I think you're rocking amazing and yes, you deserve to be celebrated. So if it's your birthday month, celebrate. If, if and when you have a birthday month, and you have people in your life that are maybe a little bit like my husband who think it's just another day and don't like to like do that whole thing. I mean, it's okay. We can still love them. But the thing I need to tell you is you need to be accountable for yourself. And if it matters to you, speak up. Because that person, the other people in your life, they love you and they want you to be happy. And they may have just like had a small little glitch in their brain like, Oh, of course. We're not all the same. Um, I don't care to celebrate my birthday or it's not a big deal to me. But dang it, I forgot. There's the rest of the world. And maybe for some of those people, it is 
kind of a big deal and they like to be made special but if you don't tell them and remind them you'll be like me and then you'll just sit on the pity pot and feel sorry for yourself and then feel angry at that person because they just don't get it when I never told them so I can tell you from experience speak up and you may be surprised at what they do for you so there's that and yeah and even if you don't have anyone to help celebrate or remind you how special you are because some days we have those days we have those moments in life where there's just nobody around just tell yourself remind yourself I try to tell all of all of you great friends all the time you know that you matter and you make a difference and when we don't have someone telling us it's easy to let those annoying little voices take over and try and convince us that that's not the case so just be strong and then the days you're not strong it's okay as I always say we're all just doing the best we can with what we have and some days it's hard to pull the best together and the best we can do is just let ourselves feel and cry and scream and be angry whatever it is we need to feel that is important to do again speaking from experience I'm a bottler I didn't get this beautiful round physique because I have all my poop in a group no I overanalyze and I compartmentalize and I bury all the feelings behind the food I eat that is why I'm fat yes it would be a food addiction that I have it is a brain issue not a um, self-control issue and that is why I am who I am and I look the way I look and it's okay because I recognize it and I know it and God wanted me this way for some reason I don't know maybe it's so I can have better um, understanding and empathy towards others with their challenges I don't know I don't get to know and someday we may never know why we are walking the path we are walking there are so many things that I would love to know the answers about why did I have to go through this? Why did this happen? You know, things, I mean, there's things that have happened that I know were my, it's because of my choices. But there are things that we are dealt with all the time that are out of our control. And they're usually not happy. It's not like we're all winning the lottery. And it would be nice sometimes to know the whys. And then I just remind myself, does it really matter? Is it going to change anything? No, I mean, it still happened or it's still happening and, you know, we're stronger than we give ourselves credit for. So just face it and go on. And as you know, I'm a, I'm a year older now. I'm getting wiser. Not, I think I'm getting more forgetful, but, um, I do know, you know, those, those sayings, as trite as they may come off, they really do mean time, you know, time does make a difference. It doesn't completely heal over scars, but it softens the edges. And um, as terrible as today is, the sun, the sun will come out tomorrow. Annie will tell you that. And the sun that was shining down as I was talking to you was the reminder that there is still sunshine and happiness and love in the world. So... You just have to open your eyes and hopefully find it. Like Mr. Robin, who's still running around looking for weeds or worms or I don't know who's peeking its head out of my yard. But anyway, again, my house, it looks really weird. Like, is it wet? The bricks wet? Hmm. I don't really know. It just looks like it's about ready to fall down or something. But I'm going to go in again. I got the ice cream. So I got really long winded. Season friends, nothing new. I look forward to seeing what everybody is able to color for the month for the group body colors. And if you're crazy busy, it's okay. You can miss, you can miss some, you can miss both. You can miss a month. You can always go back and color them anytime. There's really no, again, I, I'm a rule breaker, not a rule maker. So remember that. But I will let you go, my friends. I do care so much about you. I am so happy and grateful that you shared part of your day with me. I appreciate you and I love you guys. I'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.